we started making our way to Franz Josef, which was about a two and a half hour drive, but took us a bit longer because, well, of course, I stopped to take plenty of photos. We stopped at a couple of lakes along the way, the first one being Lake Ianth, and the second one being Lake Maparica, which was by far my favorite. It's about 70 kilometers south of Lake Ianth, and it did not disappoint. Our plans for Franz Joseph was just to get into a campground, stay in the van, but as you do, as we did, we decided over a couple of years that, eh, let's just splash out. So we decided to stay at the Rainforest Retreat, and we got a free upgrade. They literally just said, your room isn't ready, would you like an upgrade to the treehouse? And we said, yes, we would like an upgrade to the treehouse. The best part about it was the receptionist actually hopped on a bike and told us to just follow her to our treehouse. So here we are, following the lady on the bike to our treehouse. As she pointed to where we were staying, I was in shock. It was stunning. I couldn't believe that we had this whole place to ourselves. We had a free upgrade. The hospitality was amazing. The staff were super nice. And just look at this room. I really couldn't believe our luck. As if things couldn't get better, we even had free access to the liquor cabinet, which had many bottles of wine and also free cookies. Honestly, if you're going to Franz Joseph and you want to splash out a little bit, would highly, highly recommend staying at the Rainforest Retreat. The next morning, we really wanted to take the helicopter ride over Franz Joseph and Fox Glacier, but it was all sold out. So we just did a little quick walk to the base of it. You actually used to be able to walk right up to the base of the glacier, but because of previous flooding, it was all closed off. So we just had a quick peek and snapped some photos. There were so many waterfalls on the side of the road, so anytime we'd see one, 
we just pull over, take a couple photos, hop back in the van, go on to the next one. Doing the short walk to see the blue pools is also a must do. It's about a 30 minute walk from the car park down to the blue pools and it was freezing. I'm not gonna lie, I pretty much complained the whole entire time, but I forgot about all those complaints once we got down to the water. Stop Wanaka. 